Oh well. Could this lighting be any worse for my comeback after like a six month hiatus? No, probably not. Like look at this. It's like I'm getting beamed up. Anywho, you join me today on a very exciting day. The day after Molly's birthday. <laughs> Molly is currently in LA. I'm picking her up from the airport tomorrow afternoon. So we have to get the apartment looking spiffy. I want to make it special for her because, you know, she's one of those people, like many, who hates getting older. And, you know, I just want to make her feel special. She's also a very special person in my soul. So I want to make the day extra special for her. So, a very cleaned. All yesterday I cleaned, I was gonna film it. Y'all don't wanna see it. Y'all don't wanna see me vacuuming, mopping, doing dishes, dusting. Like, you don't wanna see me doing that. That's boring. But, you join me for the fun part. Decorating. So, I'm gonna be so for real. I get so excited. I don't really get excited for my birthday. I like my birthday but I don't get like that excited. I get so excited for other people's birthdays because I just want to make them feel so, so special. So I've ordered some stuff a long time ago. I don't really remember what it was. Like, couldn't tell you. I did go for a theme this year. I was looking around like Pinterest and Etsy and that kind of thing. And I found a lot of just a teeny bit older like martini themed stuff which is that's kind of her brand i don't know if she's ever even drank a martini but she has at least two or three martini themed shirts like she just loves the idea of a martini she likes olives i don't even know if she likes gin i don't even think i don't think she likes gin mm, i know she's had gin and tonics I know she's never had a martini, but it's kind of her brand. So, thought that would be a cute theme. So, along with that theme, where do I even start? So, first of all, in case Molly's watching this, I love you girl so much. I was trying to get you just a teeny bit older cookies, custom decorated from a local bakery. I asked three separate bakeries. The first one said, absolutely not. I'm not making you only 12 cookies. Like I need at least an order of 24 or more, which love you girl, but we're two people. We're not gonna eat 24 cookies before they go bad. And then the other person said, she could, but She's really busy with Halloween orders, so probably not. And I was like, cool, thank you so much. And then the other, the last one was like, I got you, girl, I got you. I sent her the Pinterest photo of cookies that I found that I really liked. She's like, I literally like, I got you, girl. She sent me the estimate for a dozen cookies. It was over $100 for sugar cookies. I love you. I respect you. I respect your time and your artistry. Personally, for me, that's not in the budge. So I love you, Molly, but we're decorating our own cookies. <laughs> so I was gonna make my own cookies. But there's a lot of ways that could have gone wrong. So I got a naked cookie cake. Got a naked cookie cake. And then, Avi just got just plain white. I am embarrassed to tell you how long I stood in the icing aisle looking for white because why would they put gray on it? I was literally like, there's no way they're sold out of white. Like, now I'm worried that it's gonna be gray. If I open this, I'm gonna eat it. But I think I have to open it. Also, I'm like... I'm not... 
artistic in the slightest. But like I'm not bad. I just wouldn't consider myself good. Okay, I can't get that open, so we're just hoping for the best tomorrow. Okay, so that is tomorrow. Obviously, I'll put in the candles when she's here. I need to be able to close it. But there's that. So that is a tomorrow, tomorrow stitch. Then, it was a dollar. Do you like my new sweater? I got it from a local shop when I went to drop her off in Charlotte the other day. It's like I'm literally never gonna be in Charlotte again. Like when I pick her up on Monday, I think we're grabbing a coffee, maybe some lunch and then coming back because she's, her flight from LA is at 5 a.m. So she's gonna be tired. And also I've seen all of Charlotte I need to see. If you're from Charlotte, if you love Charlotte, I say this with peace and love. My few hours in Charlotte is enough. I'm okay. I don't need to ever see it again. It's not my favorite city and I almost moved there. It was between Charlotte and Raleigh. I had quite a few job offers from Charlotte. So like I was leaning more towards Charlotte, but then Raleigh was calling to me. And oh my love of pee, I'm so glad I chose Raleigh. It's just too big. Saying that, living literally in the capital of North Carolina, but it just, it's too much. Okay, so I'm putting this, and then I got two different types of flowers. Her favorite flowers are tulips. It is the end of October, they obviously don't have tulips, so we just went for pinks and purples because she loves pink. She also loves orange. They didn't have any orange flowers. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. They also had a little bowl of extra flower food. So I ground an extra one. I don't know if we just like add more and more flower food. If it'll just last like a super long time. But we'll see. What I like to do, instead of getting the pre-made bouquets, I like to get two of the, like, cheaper ones and putting them together. I think that looks a lot cuter. Also, look how long these stems are. Like, are you yoking me? These smell so good. I know quite literally nothing about flowers. I know her favorites are tulips and I know my mom's favorites are her ranges. That's as far as like, I know nothing about flowers. What's my favorite flower? I can tell you, I like pretty flowers. I like dandelions because you have to pick them and you can't buy them and that means they really care about you. That's my silly answer whenever somebody asks me. See, do I cut, oh my god. Do I cut more off? Does that look stupid though with the happy birthday look tiny? Literally entrapped in there. I'm cutting more off. though I, this is so weird like I feel like let's move you to a different angle and maybe I'll fit in yo I a uh, forest that is a bouquet if I've ever seen oh there's breaking flowers that's a bouquet like you're telling me I didn't buy this to get there like that like are you yoking me give me a second let me give you, you deserve this. You deserve the close up. Okay, ignore all the plastic and like trash. Look at that, look at that. 
like you yoking me. Okay. Now, let me show you the shrine that I made for her. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, ignore the back. The back will be clean once I, like, make dinner and clean up the decor. But look, also the lighting in here is so bad. So this is her American Girl doll. I did not buy this for her. This is Izzy. But I did buy this little salon chair. Actually, I was given it for free because this little thing was broken. And so somebody was giving it away on Marketplace. And it was just a quick little super glue. But we have a little straightener, a comb, hair dryer that makes really creepy noises. Anyways, scissors, this little hair clippy thing. And then this lawn chair. But this is her literal, this is her pride and joy. So I think she'll enjoy it. Then we got the flowers. And then we have Prezi's, Avi, this is the cute little card her mom gave her. This is really a present for me, it's a game for us to play, but I also found that in Charlotte and it's just like such a perfect game and it's so hard to find games for two players. Also this bag is a bag I've been wanting for ages, it's from my favorite stationery brand, Red Cap Cards. So I also bought that for me, and I will give her instructions to put my birthday gifts in that. So, but yeah, this is the little setup. Ignore the back. I'm trying to like get the back out. Also, Izzy looks so scared, or like so scary. Ignore the back, ignore the back. So, this looks okay, you know, like this is nice, but we need to decorate. Like I definitely want to put something in the stairwell, like right up there. And then I would like to put something in the living room. And then maybe something like hanging like up there. So it's like behind. And then maybe some like balloons or something right here. So I ordered some stuff. Oh my God, this is really a balancing act. So I ordered some stuff from Amazon. I'm pretty sure this says just a teeny bit older. I hope it does. I genuinely ordered this so long ago. There's so many balloons and stuff in here. And then I think this is just an OG happy birthday sparkle. Uh, like, I just don't know where I want to put everything. I think just a teeny bit older since it's so many like it's, I think it's just a teeny bit older, like it is a big thing. I'm gonna put that one in the stairwell and then I might just hang the happy birthday like up here. And then there's like so many balloons in here. I guess the extra balloons I'm gonna scatter at the like shrine gifty table. And then now that I said shrine, I'm like, that would be so cute if I had like a framed picture of us. But I need to be done. <laughs> like, she's coming home tomorrow. I don't need to be out running. Okay. I guess let's get blowing. <laughs> so we have a slight-ish. You know how I ordered <laughs> the sparkly happy birthday banner? It's not happy birthday. What is it? I don't know. And it doesn't say on the package what it's supposed to spell. Like, what is this? I thought it was birthday. But what? There's no D, there's no I. Like, this is what we're working with. Bert. Bert. Birth. 
Okay, okay, wait, here we go. This is like Wordle. Okay, party, party. Let's, okay, let's party. What is, what is that? Let's. I'm gonna be really annoyed if it's like really obvious. There, no, that. That doesn't smell weird. Let's party. So it's not let's party. Let's. Like what? And it doesn't say anything on the package. Like, they wouldn't just send extra letters. Let's? No, so it's not let's. It has to be party. Like, there's... I don't know what else I would have ordered. And it's not, like, teeny, because there's no I. Sorry, Mom. It's, like, so aggressive to have in our doorway. And also, I don't know how to connect the, like, top part of the eye. I think I'm just gonna hang up, let's party. Like, I feel like that's a bit much. I think let's party is good enough. <laughs> oh, my necklaces. That's how you know it's been a hard work day. All right, I hate to toot my own horn, but toot too. Like, I think it looks pretty good in here, especially for the amount of money that I paid for these decorations, I would say. Decorations in total probably cost me five dollars, maybe seven. Um, but you know what? I was raised to know how to shop a bargain and how to make a lot with a little. Start with the little shrine, the little party table. I added some balloons. Then, like, look at that. I'm sorry, what? Okay, and then the piece to resist stone. First of all, oh yeah, this guy. He hang in from the rafters. We got him when we first moved in. His name's Rizzuto. He's an Italian cow that plays baseball. Love that guy. Okay, and then this. Wait, let me like fully give you the moment. Okay. I know I ordered this 10 million years ago, but I simply do not remember ordering this. Like this is not the vibe. I literally just thought I got martini stuff. But anyhow, I'm just gonna do let's party. They also sent a little needle, oh, a little needle to thread it through, but you know what? That actually would be easy. I was thinking I was just gonna do it the hard way, but why would I do that? Wow, where was this 10 minutes ago when I was putting the other one together? I'm gonna get a chocolate chip cookie with ice in. I really hope she wants to blow our candles tonight because I really want a piece, but like I understand that she's probably going to be so tired. But I want a piece so bad. But that's, that's illegal to eat a piece before she blows out my candles. I was already, <laughs> I was thinking this morning, I was like, is there any way I could like sneak a little piece? Fully no, it's a circle. I was like, how can I like sneak a piece? Cause I just feel like she's in, like, I don't blame her. I would be so tired too. She's been just in LA partying for the past two days. And also it's a three hour time difference. So like, just as you're starting to get used to it, you're already coming back, so. Okay. We got, oh no. Okay, round. I think I just want this. Okay. 
So what I think I'm gonna do, ugh, should I? Do I write it in white and then outline in green? Man, this cake smells so good. Holy moly. <laughs> she comes home and it's just gone. Legally at this point, she doesn't even know I bought her cake. Okay, let's practice on this little paper towel. Found like, is the angle right? I think it is. This is the big boy, and also it's not that much, so I don't really have a choice but to do a meet in lane. Oh my god. Okay, that's not that bad. Morning! Here we go. Once I go in, we're going in. I feel like this is a terrible angle. Oh no, this looks so bad, y'all. Oh no, oh no. That looks so bad. And I also just realized this is gonna be so yucky because <laughs> it has so little icing on it. Like, I should have done a. Why didn't I just get green ice in, lay that down, and then write a teeny bit older on top? It wouldn't have helped the lettering look any better. Because this just looks so bad. Oh my god, this looks so bad. This is so humbling. This is so humbling. Like, I... What you see on the camera, I think, is enough. Like, you don't need to see more. Oh my god. This is so bad. And, like, if... Like, I cannot stress this enough. If it runs at all, it will, like, go from bad to actually, like atrocious okay <laughs> <laughs>